Hey YouTube, uh, this is Mike. I have a progressive house song that I've been working on. I just thought I'd share it with you all. It is um, 128 BPM, and I'm just going to give a little breakdown of the different elements I have going on here. So I got the drums here. Um, first off, we got a kick, standard kick. Um, as you can see, I've layered my kicks. I have a lower frequency kick and a higher frequency kick. Gives it a nice balance usually. Um, and then on the claps, I just have uh, claps. These are layered as well. I got a snare, um, two snares, and uh, a clap sample. And they've all been EQ'd so that they sound pretty good as a whole. Um, and then we got the hi hats here. <clears throat> a few of them uh, also overlapping there. Um, and what I did was I put a uh, groove pool on there. So it, what it does is it adjusts the velocity of the hi hat, so it gives it a nice um, rhythm or groove. Um, and then I have some percussion down here, which I also have the groove pool on. Um, I have set the timing to 34%, and um, that gives it a nice rhythm, groove, whatever. Um, okay, so that was the drums, and then we got um, I got a, a group of side chain here, and um, these uh, tracks have actually been muted. They're not you won't be able to hear them in the song. But what they do is they um, they control when I have a compressor on my other channels. What it's doing is it's dropping out the signal when the kick comes in um, or whatever. Um, piece I put in there. It drops out the signal so it gives it a, uh, a pumping effect. I have three different side chains. The hi-hat side chain is a little different. I have a, a different pattern here and I have that um, I have that on a chain to my vocals so what it's doing is giving like a like a choppy vocal sound whenever it comes in. Um, so that was the side chains. Um, I got the clap verb which is it's giving like a crashing sound. It's basically a clap that I put a reverb on. I have the dry wet effect um, up and uh, the decay time up as well. Um, got an EQ here, get that all cleaned up. It's really important to have your every channel EQ'd so they all sound good together and it's not muddy. Um, I have a riser here and that's just this one part right here in the song where it, uh, it picks up. Here I'll show you. Uh, just kind of makes a nice build. So that was uh, the riser. Um, I have a drop to come in on the break. I have white noise, which is um, coming in on certain parts of the song just to kind of come and give it like a little splash um, at certain points. I have a build, which is um, it's basically white noise um, with a compressor on it, also side-chained, so it's giving that pumping um, wind sound when you're, uh, you know, good for, for building up parts and, and uh, slowing down parts as well. Um, I have the sub-bass, that's just basically a low frequency, and I have that on the arpeggiator, which is um, at uh, a rate of one-eighth. Um, so it's just uh, giving a nice um, progressive, progressive feel with the, when the kick and the, the bass are on together. It gives a nice progressive feel. Um, so that was the sub bass. Then I have the mid bass, um, which is on a compressor, side chained. Um, it's giving that pumping effect. And then I have some stabs, which are um, they have a ping pong delay on which is uh, giving it a nice delay, um, adds, uh, um, just adds more elements to the song. Um, and then I have the lead, which I worked on here, and the, these are just all different parts of the lead that I did. And this also has the ping pong delay, and it's all EQ'd, and I have the filter here that's mapped to Ableton Live from Silent. Um, and basically that is just controlling the lead. Um, it starts off a little bit muffled and then as it builds, the track builds, you'll hear the filter come in more. These are all, this is all the automation for it. You'll see that it comes in more um, and adds more of an effect. Um, and uh, the pads, pads are side-chained as well. Pretty much everything is side-chained. 
and the vocals. And so that's pretty much the breakdown of the track. And I will go ahead and play it for you now. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 